So welcome to the secret training video with the title DTDR 65 first impedance measurement. We start connecting the uh, face matched SMA cable to the instrument. So please consider the markings. In this case it's green and red. It can also be um, gray and black for example. Fasten the SMA cables hand tight and then you can, can lock them with a torque wrench afterwards. Next step is to uh, connect the differential TDR probe. Again tighten the SMA screws and fix them afterwards with a torque wrench. So now we can start the software. If everything is configured, um, the device should be found by the software automatically and the windows should be arranged. We see the yellow TDR curve and the blue is the differential one. So we go to the main table, fill in a name for the first test measurement Here we are. Here we can see it's a differential wave impedance measurement um, with the mode button. We can choose different measurement modes. There are different available, so we stay at the differential impedance measurement for this time. Now we look at the oscilloscope window. The average is changed to 3, what is the proper value for normal impedance measurements. Now we have a look at the further properties of this test measurement. At the left area we can fill in some information about customer part number, description, batch number and so on. This is uh, mainly for the PDF output. Here we can give some information about the material. does not influence the measurement at all, just uh, for information. And here we can give the tolerance mask, 100 ohm and 10%. So here we zoom into the TDR curve. Now we make the measurement. Can we use the foot switch for this? Three average measurements and here we have the curves. At this point I would like to introduce the zooming and the figures a little bit. Zooming means left mouse button down to start an area selection, button up to end the selection and you can zoom out with right double click in the figure for fully zooming out. So here is an example, it's different from the measurement uh, that we just made. We zoom into the oscilloscope graph now and you see that the result frame above uh, zooms together with this image. We zoom in a little bit farther. So and now double click, right double click to zoom out again. Now we zoom into the impedance curve, the top window and you see the oscilloscope window stays the same. Double click returns to the previous view. Now again, one further effect is we zoom into the oscilloscope frame, we further zoom into the impedance curve and if we double right click here now, it returns to the zoom of the oscilloscope screen at the bottom. So one last um, thing is the outer zoom button which shows the area around the tolerance mask. So back to our measurement, we want to look at this area, what is actually the measurement of the, of the PCB. Again we go into the settings, uh, we have uh, defined the goal impedance, but we did not define the, the time axis yet. So here we use 12.4, the start of the impedance controlled line and 12.7 for the end and apply 
apply it and now we can see um, the tolerance mask is set up properly this is what is interesting so with the auto zoom button we can can have a close look and in the result uh, window the yellow one you can see the results mean value min and max